Hi, in this video we will see how easy it is to automate an FTP task using Win Automation. Let's start with a simple task that will download a certain file every day at 8 a.m. We start by clicking on this button to create a new Win Automation job. Here we are prompted to give a name to our job. Let's call it Download Daily Report. Click OK. And we are into the job designer where we can start building our task. Our task consists of three simple steps. We want to connect to the FTP server, download the file, and finally disconnect from the FTP server. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We open the FTP category and select the Open FTP Connection action. We drag it into our workspace and a dialog box opens where we can configure the action. We enter the remote server address. Username and password. And we can see here that the established connection will be stored into the FTP connection variable. Click OK and our first step is complete. Second step is to download the file. Our obvious choice here is the download file or files from FTP action. Again, we drag the action into the workspace. We enter some configuration data here. The FTP connection we are using, which is defined by the previous action. The file that we need to download, in our case reports slash daily dot PDF. And the folder where we want the file to be saved. Click OK, and we are done. Finally, we need to disconnect from the remote FTP server, and for this we will use the Close FTP Connection action. We select here the connection that we want to disconnect from, and our little job is complete. Now we close the designer, and our last step is to set the job to run automatically every morning. All we need to do is attach a schedule trigger. and set it to run from Monday to Friday at 8 a.m. OK. Close. And we are all set. Our job will faithfully download the file every day without any effort from our part. But now, to make things a bit more interesting, let's modify the job we have just created. We want the file to be downloaded every day into a different folder so that the previous downloaded files are not overwritten. And we would also like the folder to have the date in its name. So, we need to start by creating the new folder. To do so, we first retrieve the current date and time which will be stored into the variable current date time. Then, we insert the convert date time to text action and convert the date value we retrieved using a custom format. We can see here a sample of what our date will look like. And note that the formatted date will be stored into the variable formatted date time. The next action will be to actually create the folder. We enter here the parent folder. And here the name of the new folder, which in our case is the date as stored in the formatted date time variable. Note that the newly created folder will be stored into the variable new folder. So now that the folder with the current date has been created, our last step is to open the download files from FTP action and set as the destination folder the folder we have just created. To summarize, Let's go through our job one more time. Every day the job will retrieve the current date 
and create a new folder with the date as its name. Then it will connect to our FTP server and download a specific file into our newly created folder. We leave the editor, and this concludes our short presentation. I hope this video was helpful, but keep in mind that we have barely scratched the surface here. Win Automation is a powerful application that can be used to automate any repetitive task, no matter how simple or complex it is. I suggest that you download the free trial so that you can explore all the features and see for yourself how much of your time you can save by automating your everyday tasks. Download Win Automation now. Thanks for watching.